Hey, what's happening guys? Bharat Nagpal for Eigenandert in and now we're going to be checking out the new Moto Z Play. Now, if you haven't already seen our unboxing of the Moto Z, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description below. I'll also leave a link on the video right now. The Moto Z Play has been launched in India for a price of Rs. 24,999 which is much more affordable than the 39,999 for the Moto Z. The company will not be launching the Moto Z Force in India, which remains a Verizon exclusive in the United States. Now inside the box of the Moto Z Play, you'll find the device itself. You'll also get the Style Shell mod on the back, a turbo power charger for the device, along with the USB to USB type C cable, some earphones, documentation and a SIM removal tool. Now, Since the device does have a 3.5 mm headphone port, you will not need an adapter for the Moto Z Play. Now if you do a one over with the device, the new Moto Z Play over at the front has a 5 megapixel f2.2 camera. You do have an LED flash on the Z Play as well. Below that, you have a 5.5 inch display, but this is a full HD display versus a quad HD on the Moto Z. You get a 1920 by 1080p resolution, giving it a total of 403 pixels per inch. This remains a Super AMOLED display, so you still get that depth in terms of color and black levels. Below the display, you'll find the fingerprint scanner, and on the bottom, you'll find the USB Type-C port along with the 3.5 mm headphone jack. Over at the right, you'll find the power button along with the volume buttons, and on the top, you have the SIM tray, which is a dual SIM tray, and it also takes in a micro SD card, which is independent. There's nothing on the left of the device. On the back is the main 16 megapixel F2 camera. You get face detection autofocus and laser autofocus, but you do not get optical image stabilization like on the Moto Z. You do have a dual LED flash, and you can see that this one has a glass back uh, with the Moto logo over there. And you still get the 16 port proprietary connector for your Moto mods. Uh, the motor mods are attached using four magnets that are on the device. The battery on the Moto Z Play is a 3510 mAh battery and people have been talking about its extended battery life. If you take this and install a 2200 mAh motor mod for the battery, you will get a whole lot of battery up to two to three days of usage time. Now running this device is a Snapdragon 625, which in comparison to the 820 is quite a low processor. It has an octa-core two gigahertz CPU along with Adreno 506 for the GPU. You also get lesser RAM at three gigabyte and 32 gigabyte of storage. Like I said earlier, you can pop in a micro SD card. It will accept up to a 256 gigabyte. Now the phone is also quite thicker compared to the Moto Z at 7 mm for the Moto Z Play, uh, while the Moto Z was at 5.4 mm. Both these phones do have a water repellent nano coating on there for an IP52 certification, so your basic splashes and rainwater will be resisted by the device. Now just like the Moto Z, the Moto Z Play is running Android 6.0.1 and will be upgraded to Nougat as soon as uh, it is officially available by Google. Now the user interface is quite responsive and uh, overall the device has not been designed as much to be a performance oriented device, but for more for the mod functionality. So you can snap on your back covers. You do get a projector mod, a speaker mod, and you also get the Hasselblad camera mod, which allows you to take on some of the interesting features of the camera from Hasselblad. You can also simply add on a battery pack. They come in a wireless charging and a non-wireless charging option. And uh, all your functionality for all the mods will show up on screen. So if you have a dual battery pack, both the batteries will show the remaining power life on your screen. You can also change up the way you charge up your devices by turning on efficient mode, which will improve the charging efficiency and keep your battery life going on for a much longer time. The 16 megapixel camera will shoot 4K video. And if you do install the Hasselblad camera mod, the same camera interface will get carried on to the Hasselblad camera mod. You also get a pro shooting mode this time around. So you can customize your ISO, white balance, etc. before you click a picture. And this functionality has been carried over to the Hasselblad camera mod as well. The Moto Z Play will sell for 2499 and we'll be coming out with our review, hopefully before the launch so that you can make a decision on whether or not to buy these devices. We'll be doing a video on mods later on, so you can stay tuned for that. If you have any questions or queries, do drop them in the comment section below. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, Snapchat, Vine, all the other networks. And also visit iGAN.in for your daily dose of tech. This has been Bharat. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.